near Southampton, Britain now has the largest oil refinery in Europe, built by British labour and American experts at a cost of 37.5 million pounds, it will save us 100 million dollars a year. Bringing crude oil from the Middle East sterling areas, four of the largest tankers can dock at one time at the new jetty built to serve the refinery, which will turn out six million tons of petrol a year, more than a quarter of our total needs. This fantastic oil city took three years to plan, but 5,000 British workmen built it in 27 months, four months ahead of schedule. Now the Prime Minister comes to declare the new refinery open, while the Minister of Fuel, Mr. Noel Baker, watches. For Mr. Attlee, the new plant is closely linked with the Persian problem. Clearly, it's not appropriate for me to discuss the issues involved today. But the fact that all supplies from Persia have been interrupted raises a problem. Alternative supplies have to be sought, and such supplies should, as far as possible, not increase the dollar cost. You'll be glad to know that supplies of motor spirit sufficient to replace those normally exported from Abadan have been guaranteed up to the end of 1951. After a well-deserved tribute to all concerned, Mr. Attlee proceeds to unveil a commemorative plug. Depicting folly, it is made of silver and mounted on marble from the Aegean Sea. And now folly works for Britain. The control room indicators register and through the miles of piping, fuel begins to flow. In this great new refinery, the world sees one more triumph of British and American cooperation.